Hey, what is up everyone? Tyler and i here back with another video. And as I promised you guys, my goal is to kind of document this journey that I am on. As many of you know, I have officially been hired as a penetration tester. I've graduated from Hack the Box, Try Hack Me to hacking real companies, but I'll still be on Hack the Box and Try Hack Me all the time, continuing to learn. But here's what I want to do. Today was my very first day as a penetration tester and just want to document the company that I work for, some of the cool services they offer to share some of the experience I'm going to get. I want to share about what my specific role is going to be, at least in the beginning as I'm learning things. I want to share some of what onboarding looks like on day one as a penetration tester and just share with you guys how I am feeling. Now, my goal is to document this journey as I shared before. So I'm making this video. This is day number one, and I'm going to try to make a video at the end of every week for the first four weeks just to share. Here's how I'm feeling. Here's what I'm learning. Here's what I'm struggling with. And after that, I might move it to making a video once a month just to give you a big idea. So honestly, so I can look back at these videos and see my own growth, but hopefully you find something encouraging in these videos as well. So first, who do I work for? So I was hired by a company called Rhino Security Labs uh, based out of Seattle. I, of course, am working remote, but man, there are some really cool things that Rhino does. It is a full penetration testing company, and that is all we do. Penetration testing, ethical hacking, and our goal is to hack companies before the bad guys do so that we can help companies remediate those vulnerabilities and give them a better security posture. So we do web apps. That's a big thing of what I'm going to do, and I think that's what you'll see with a lot of pen testing companies is one of the biggest areas or hoops is web applications, so that is just websites that we are hacking and finding vulnerabilities in. Closely tied to that is APIs. Uh, you can Google that if you want to learn more about that, but APIs also communicate on HTTP in a very similar way as a standard website. So kind of web apps and APIs go together. We also do network pen testing, which is two types of network pen testing. There's external networks and internal networks. On an external engagement, what you are given by the client is a list of public facing IP addresses. And often you're just told, see what information you can get, see if you can breach the network, see if you can get information disclosure. Here are the public IPs that are in scope go after them. The other side of it is internal network pen testing. For that, you often send the company like a jump box, a computer that they plug into their internal network, and you are operating as if you were on the inside. So that's where a lot of the active directory hacking type stuff comes from. We also do mobile uh, pen testing, so mobile apps for Android and Apple. We do cloud stuff, so that's GCP. I think it's GCP. That's the Google Cloud Platform, Azure, of course, and AWS. There's social engineering. This is a really cool thing. Like Rhino will actually send people on site to practice social engineering, to try to get into locations they're not supposed to be in, to essentially act like criminals, but legally, right? To help companies have a better security posture. But also on social engineering, we do uh, phishing emails, we do vishing, which is like over voice, smishing, which is SMS, right? Text messages. Uh, social engineering is often the way that real threat actors get into a company. Your companies weakest area is the human element. So we do social engineering. And then we also do red team engagements. And a red team engagement is more like uh, acting like an advanced adversary, an APT, kind of like a, a nation state actor trying to get into your company. Red team engagements are usually much longer, a month or maybe even longer than that. And it's often a combination of uh, external network, internal network, web apps, maybe mobile apps, a little bit of everything. And the key is to be quiet, right? To, to see if the blue team doesn't pick up on you. So Rhino does all of that. Now I am not at a level where I can do all of that. So my specific role at Rhino is I'm an associate pen tester and my focus is going to be web applications and some external network pen testing. But my biggest focus is web applications. So we are given a scope by a client of web apps uh, that are in focus and we're looking for things like really the OWASP top 10. Uh, if you just go to Port Swigger and Port Swigger Academy, there's a lot of good resources on there. Even some checklists that they have released of ways you can test a web app, but that will be my job using Burp Suite uh, for much of the time, Burp Suite Pro, and seeing what I can find in a web app in order to help a company remediate those vulnerabilities. As I get more experience, I will have the opportunity to move into those other roles. But for now, I'm really just focused on web maps, and it looks like I'll get some opportunity to external network pen testing as well. But that is my role at Rhino. And like I said in the beginning, 
This was my very first day. So here's kind of what onboarding looked like for me on day one. I, of course, did some of your standard new hire paperwork, which I know we all love and enjoy. Anytime you start a new job, I had to do that. There was some documentation I've been reading through internally about just different assessment processes and tools that are used in the environment, how to set them up properly, how to not you know, harm a client's environment as we pen test and, and test different things, which honestly, it's all been, been really cool to see this documentation written by real ethical hackers and seeing what I can learn from them. I had the opportunity to meet the rest of the pen testers during a stand-up call. And man, I'm, I'm so excited to learn from each one of them. Every single one of them is way smarter than me, uh, but that's a good thing. And I'll share about that in just a little bit, but I'm, I'm pumped to learn from them. And then the rest of my day was spent shadowing another pen tester as he works on a web application for a client. And once again, it was such a cool experience to see uh, to find real bugs. Like I, I was watching him as he found legit bugs and vulnerabilities, some even some critical stuff in a client's web application. Like going from hack the box and try hack me and seeing it actually happen in the real world. I was I was super excited, probably overly excited, but man, it was it was so cool to actually be sitting there and helping a company patch those vulnerabilities, being the bad guys so the real bad guys don't actually get to the company. And how am I feeling? Day one, I'm obviously excited if you can tell by the video, but like I recognize I am a noob. Uh, some would call it imposter syndrome. I, I stray away from that term. I think we all wrestle with it. I prefer just to call myself a noob, but it's a good thing. And here's why. What I've learned when it comes to ethical hacking or even growth in IT, even growth in any part of your life, if you fall into the comparison trap of comparing yourself to people who are further along than you are, you're always going to feel terrible. Or if you compare yourself to people who aren't as far along, you're going to become arrogant. What I've always tried to do is the only person I want to compare myself to is myself. And although I feel like a noob compared to the other pen testers at Rhino, compared to Tyler one year ago, I am like John Hammond, right? I am like a genius compared to Tyler from one year ago. But compared to the pen testers at Rhino, I am a noob, but I'm happy about that. I love challenges, I love learning, I love opportunities for growth, and just looking at kind of the careers at Rhino, and, and there's so many opportunities for growth, so many areas to learn, I think I finally found a place really long-term to dig in, to learn, to grow, to hopefully add value, and I love feeling like a noob. I love not being the smartest person in the room, right? You never wanna be the smartest person in the room, and I'm definitely not even close to the smartest person in the room at Rhino, so. They're all incredible people, every single person I met on the team, and I, I'm truly looking forward to learning from them, and hopefully in the near future, I can add value. Maybe maybe they'll learn something from me, maybe not. Either way, I'm excited about this journey. One final thing I do want to share is Rhino is always looking for penetration testers, and I know one big area of need that we have is web applications. I believe we are still hiring one more uh, pen tester, so I will drop a link to Rhino's website in the description, but hey, if you are interested in web apps or at least having a conversation, I would encourage you to apply and at least have the conversation. I always had this philosophy, had this philosophy when I talked to Rhino initially, is the worst they say is no, and even if they say no, you have an opportunity to make some really cool connections with people from within Rhino and to have some of those conversations. So if that interests you, if you wanna come work with me, if you wanna come hack stuff alongside of me, links below, go ahead and apply. If you have questions, shoot me a message. I probably can't answer your questions because I've only been doing this for one day, but man, I'm excited and I will make another video after a week to let you know how I'm feeling. Uh, and one other, one final thing, starting tomorrow, you may be watching this tomorrow, starting December 1st, I will be live on Twitch every single night with the exception of the day I take the OSCP, doing the Try Hack Me, uh, what, Advent, whatever they call it, uh, Gosh, I can't think of what it's called, but they have 25 days. It's some some advent, the advent of hacking or something. I don't remember what it's called. But 25 days of cybersecurity challenges each day following a storyline. I will be live streaming those on the Hack Smarter Twitch channel, also in the link below. And would love for you to join me and we can struggle our way through those challenges and hopefully learn something together. So guys, thank you again for being on this journey with me and I will catch you guys later. See ya.